Hey YouTube, I just thought I'd, um, I'd show you this little, this little find. I bought it off eBay, and basically it's a buck converter step down. Um, four volts to forty, and you've got naught to thirty-seven volts out. I think uh, one point three, I should say, to thirty-seven volts out. And the nice thing about this is it's got look at the, the little display here. Um, at the moment it's showing very close to what I'm putting in. I'm putting 9 volts in. Um, i show you that. 9 volts going in. And it's showing about 8.9. Now, this, uh, this bottom segment here doesn't really... Let me switch the light off. And my camera's not going to do that any justice at all. But with the light up, it's not not bad. But it does look a bit faded compared to the rest. Watch your eyes. It does look a bit faded compared to the rest when the lights on, especially. Uh, that actually looks like a a nine without the bottom because these two segments are a little bit dimmer than the other ones. But there you go. Um, and so that's the input voltage. Well close to it and there's the output now the difference between uh, this is I've actually calibrated this 4 volts I calibrated it to my meter here um, and the way you do this with this is if I won't do this one again but I'll do it on the input voltage to get it to 9 volts so if I switch that to the input voltage there 8.9 volts and if I just hold that down And it's flashing. So I can use this little 10, 10 turn pot here. And I can calibrate the voltage down. What it's actually doing is it's changing the output. Ah, okay. That's supposed to be doing. So. This is supposed to be changing the input. Let me see what happens here, because this, I'm pretty sure, is supposed to be changing the input. Well, that's the maximum that it's going to let me have. So if I take that down to 8 volts. Yeah, it will take a smidgen. And then if I hold this in again. No, by right, that should hold that to 8 volts. But So that's saying 8 volts now. So if I press and hold that. That's flashing. And this is going to change this again. I'm going to put this on 5 volts this time. Yeah. And that says 4.9. So I thought the whole idea was I was supposed to be able to change this for what's on there. Right, that turns the display on and off. Yeah, just pressing that button there. It doesn't turn the output on or off, which would have been nice. And this out is just for pressing so you know when where the output voltage is. So at the minute, that's the output voltage, 4.9. This is the input voltage. If I were to hold that down, it just switches off the display. So I can't adjust that there. I turn those back on. The only way to adjust it, and it does say here, um, press the right key to let the display show the input or output voltage. When the right out LED lit, it shows output, and the left in shows the input. Okay, it's fair enough. Um, <clears throat> but we can, especially if I put this across here, we can adjust this down. So, output voltage just input voltage calibration steps. Step one adjust the right button so the in LED lighted. 
particularly delighted. The voltmeter shows the value of input voltage. Press the right button for more than two seconds. One, two, more. Press the right button for more than two seconds. Release voltmeter and out LED flashes. No, voltmeter and in LED flashes. Huh. Right, let's try this again because that should be flashing according to the destructions up there. So let me turn that off somehow. Let's just get out the whole day in there. Right, let's go back. Right, so we're on the in. And then it says to press the button on the right for more than two seconds. One, two, more. But this should have the input flashing. That's what I would think if we're adjusting the input. So we're in input calibration mode. I don't want to see that changing. And we're going to set this to 9 volt. I've just got to get it on it. Get on it. For some reason it doesn't want to play. Oh, there we go. We're in. Okay. Well, I'm trying to turn this down. And it won't go down. So I'm going to try and turn it up. And although on the multimeter it goes up, it's not going up on here. Yeah, that's just not going up. And so this is the input calibration. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can turn this all the way down. So we get to the limit on the pot. Just to see if it makes a difference. I can't hear it clicking, but I've gone round more than 10 times, I know I have. Um, so that's not actually adjusting the input. What I can do is I can turn up the input, let's say to 10 volts. And has this adjusted here? Can I adjust it here now? Okay, well it's adjusted on the input anyway because it's gone to 9.9 .9 and on my on there to be fair to it on there we're on 9.98 yeah so but that's not really allowing me to adjust that so and now we've got this set at 1.2 so if I do that for that. Now that's saying it's at 1.2. Well, that's a bit of crazy calibration because I'm not quite sure what really happened there. Um, so, a lot more circuits I'm playing with this or this voltage. Well, they work between 4.2 and 3.7 because that's what the battery is going to be that I use to run some things or at least that's what I got in my head I can run quite a few things off batteries because I've got loads of these old laptop batteries so now if I want to calibrate this I just hold this in and my multimeter says 4 this says 3.9 by rights so I should be able to get these so they both say not 4 as that goes up, that goes up. Okay, I mean, that's... I thought I'd get that pretty close to that, but I don't understand... how this is calibration. Well, 
9.9 coming in, which is still 0.9.9. Four going out, turn on and off, they call them the Nixie lights. I'm not quite sure if that actually worked. 